Hi guys, in this episode we're going to talk about these, these old M SATAs and what can we do with them today? Like they're almost useless unless you have appropriate era hardware for these to fit into. I mean today, this is old, right? So this is what we call an M2 SATA because of the two slots and then we have the NVMe variant which is a one slot and full bar. So these we can always use because they fit in the other socket. But as you can see here, these are a completely different question. So if you're like me and you have a bunch of these lying around, like even one terabyte ones and 512s and 256s like these, you want to use them. And I mean, what are these good for? Well, I would say going into like uh, older computer builds that you're doing or uh, something that you're doing like a video game thing or something or emulation they'd be great for that but there is an issue and you know why I have this out this is a reader for NVMe or M2 and how it works is it, your item just clicks in like this and it reads it formats it whatever I want it to do that's what this guy is for and that's great and all if you could go out and get an, an M SATA one but you can't because, well, it's a forgotten hardware. So, what do they do? They put out little weird things like this. This guy. Now we have the same M2, right? That's what this is, the M2. And But there's a problem with this too. I've installed, this is a one terabyte. I installed it into my daughter's machine as an extra data drive. And it didn't recognize. So then I was like, okay, I'll put it in here. Um, what? It won't go in all the way. So, unbeknownst to me, I didn't know it was not going in all the way to be read. So this is actually a very useless tech. This should have been longer, and then this main part here pulled back more. And stupid me, of course, I bought extras. They're absolutely garbage. So if this isn't the answer to use this in a modern computer, then what is? Here comes this guy. This, let's get it out. Okay, and I will put uh, links for this out on the thing. You get a, a little screwdriver, which is much needed. I mean, that's all you need. And you get your uh, screw downs for uh, uh, your whatever drive you want to put in. What's really cool about this guy, okay? is I can put the newer sockets in here, okay? But I could put the M sockets in here and then put it in a computer. So I took it from being an M SATA to a SATA, okay? There's no difference other than the connector between MSATA and a normal SSD. So this is what you would do to fix the situation. Now, I know this is probably common or people already knew about it, but I put this video out just to make awareness that if you had these old drives kicking around, they're not garbage. They're, they're solid state. They're still faster than a mechanical drive. So why waste them for, I think it was maybe a $7 part. So these are from AliExpress. I got them in about a week. I'll put a link down uh, below for them because I really think that this is actually a very smart thing to do. Um, and now I'm able to get rid of some old hardware on some older systems that I want to put an NV or an SSD into. They don't have support for it on the board and I don't want to buy brand new drives when I already have them. So. I'm going to install this, I'm going to get Windows on it on another machine and we will get back to it and then we'll have a chat about it and whether it was worth it, does it work, is it just a gimmick, let's find out. Alright guys, so we built this older Xeon system and here is that drive and what I did was I used double-sided adhesive to make sure that there was no contact between the board 
and the uh, metal frame here. And that's just because, well, I didn't order these with the case. Kind of a little in, uh, uh, downside on my end. You can order them with a shell that just screws right on and then you can put it into a three and a half bay. But this works just as good. It ain't going to move. And then because there is no lock clip for the uh, SATA connection, I just put some double-sided tape, but leave the uh, wrap on right there, just to cover and make sure nothing pulls out. Down below, of course, I put a one terabyte for data. And now we have a Think server <laughs> that's thinking again. And, and then up here it shows, you know, 16 gigs, blah, 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 the Xeon, the uh, one terabyte drive which I think it's going to show a little higher because it's showing 1.14, which means it's showing probably both together. And then we go here. And here's what's really cool. So because it's even in that adapter, it even shows Samsung SSD PM830 MSATA 256. So it's reading all the information that it's supposed to read off uh, the drive even though it's in this little adapter so there you go it's there's no slowdown there's no difference whatsoever and uh, yeah these things are actually really good they work they work really well and it solves a huge problem now I can build out some of these older systems and let some little person or family I mean this is not bad you throw in a video card here and you will have like a, a very budget friendly gaming system. I'm just trying to see if I have any budget friendly gaming cards. So anyway guys, thank you for watching. It works. We're happy. Now you know, don't throw away your uh, old M status because there's always a use for everything. Anyway, till next time guys, game over. Mm -hmm.